What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to talk about how to animate plots with math.lib in Python. So let us get right into it. All right guys, so this is going to be one of those more fundamental videos. We're not going to build a fancy project today. We're going to talk about some basic stuff in data science and visualization. And most of you guys probably already know math.lib and have used it in a project. Uh, but animation is a little bit different than normal plotting. I mean, it's just one or two commands. Uh, additionally, but still a lot of people know how to just basically plot stuff, but they don't know how to animate stuff. And animation is very important when it comes to simulations. For example, I have a video on this channel, Law of Large Numbers, where I basically simulate flipping a coin or rolling dice. Um, and there you can see that animation really shows you how the curves develop, how, how uh, additional samples change the results and in general, when you simulate something, you want it to be an, uh, animated. You don't want to have just the final result. You want to see what happens in between. So we're going to talk about this in today's video. And for this, we're going to install, obviously, matplotlib. So we're going to open up CMD. We're going to say pip install matplotlib. Um, and I think we're also going to need... I mean, we're not going to need because for the actual animation, matplotlib is enough. Uh, but we're going to use in this video sklearn, so scikit-learn, which is pip install scikit-learn. And which, what you should also install, but I think it's already installed with matplotlib, is numpy, because we need numpy in order to uh, pass the things that we're going to, or at least we need it for sklearn. I'm not sure if we need it for matplotlib. I don't think so. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to animate a linear regression. This is going to be just uh, a very simple example for linear regression. We're going to generate some random values and then we're going to plot a regression line. So first of all, we're going to say import matplotlib, matplotlib.pyplotsplt. We're going to import numpy as np and we're going to import from sklearn dot linear model, we're going to import linear regression. Um, and of course, we're going to import random in order to create some samples. So we're going to start with a with an empty list called x values, and we're going to have an empty list called y values. And then we're going to run a full loop and we're going to say for unimportant control variable in range. And then you can say, okay, I want to have a thousand iterations or a hundred iterations. Let's go for a thousand. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to generate random numbers one at a time, or two at a time, because we need an x and y value. And then we're going to scatter plot these. So we're going to just say, um, x values dot append and then random dot rand int in between zero and 100, let's say. And then we're going to do the same thing for y. So we're going to change this to y values. Uh, and once we have that, all we need to do is we need to say plt dot x limit zero and 100 plt y limit zero and 100. And then we say plt dot scatter x y. Um, and the color is going to be black. Of course, not x, y, but x values, y values. And once we have that, we're just going to say plt.pause. We're not going to say, or actually, yeah, we're going to say plt.pause. And we're going to enter something like 0 0.001. And then we're going to say in the end, after the loop, plt.show. So by doing that, we're going to see the animation of the scattering. So we're going to see one number at a time being generated and plotted, as you can see. So this is already an, an animation. Um, now what we can do here is, of course, we can, I think we can speed this up a little bit more by adding a zero here. I'm not sure. But if this does not work, what we can do is we can go ahead and only visualize. Um, then, of course, we need to rename this here to x, for example, or x is maybe confusing, let's call it i, I don't know, for i in range, and then we're going to say, okay, if i is divisible by five, only then we're going to plot something. Otherwise, we're not going to plot anything. I think this should work. 
there you go. So this is a little bit faster. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to plot a regression line based on these points. So we're going to try to, fi uh, to find the line, which is uh, the linear regression line, and we're going to visualize that as well. Now for this, we're going to first have to define a regression object here. So rec equals linear regression. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to make these values into NumPy arrays. So we're going to say x equals np dot array of x values. And then we're going to say x dot or x equals x dot reshape, reshape, negative one, one. There you go. What is he saying? Redeclared x defined above without usage. Where have I defined x above without usage? I don't think so. Is he talking about that? No. However, it doesn't matter. Um, then we're going to copy that and we're going to do the same thing for y. So substitute x for y. And that's basically it. And now what we need to do is, of course, we need to uh, fit the data, we need to fit it in every iteration or with each iteration, of course, uh, or at least whenever we plot, because then we have a new line. So uh, if i is divisible by five, we're going to say rec dot fit on x and y. And we're not only going to plot the scatter plot here, we're also going to plot the regression line. And for this, we're going to say plt dot plot. And we're going to plot for the x values just a list of range 100. So from zero to 100. And then we're going to say for the y value, we're going to say rec dot predict. And we're going to predict on np dot array. We're going to pass np array x for x in range 100. So we're just going to predict for the y values. But since I don't want to store them in a variable, we're going to do it like that. And then we need to reshape, of course, reshape negative one, one. So there you go. I'm sure there's a typo somewhere. But let's see if it works. Okay, now it actually works. The problem is that we get uh, all the lines, and we don't want that we want to have the same line. And this line should be changing over time. So what we want to do is we want to say, in the beginning of the plot here, we want to say plt dot clf, which stands for clear figure, I think. And then it should delete everything. There you go. So this seems to work, of course, since we're doing uh, random values uh, over time, because of the law of large numbers, this is going to be a horizontal line since uh, you know, the average is going to be 50 and 50. So yeah, that's not very surprising. But we can increase that number if we want to. And we can also say, okay, we don't want to plot uh, if i is divisible by five, but if i is divisible by 20, for example, and then we're going to get more changes, more radical changes over time. Um, yeah, but that's, of course, not the only plot that we can we can animate, we can also do this with bar plots. So if we want to do this with bar plots, it's kind of simple, we just need to go ahead and create a single values list. And we're going to say values is empty list. And then for unnamed control variable in uh, range, and we can choose, for example, 50, if we want to. And then we can say values dot append random rand int in between zero and 100. And we can say, okay, plt dot xlim is going to be zero 100 or actually zero and a 50. And then y limit is going to be zero and a 100. And then plt dot bar and here we're going to say a list. Uh, or actually, how do we do that? Um, I think we need to do it in a different way, because we want to plot all the zero values in, in the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to say values equals zero times 50. And then we're not going to do a pent, but we're going to set the value. So we need the i here. So values i is going to be random random like that. 
then we're going to say list of range 50 is going to be values. That should work. And we're going to say plt dot pause 001. What do we have here? We didn't close that. There you go. In the beginning plt not in the beginning in the end plt dot show. That should work. There you go. And you can see how the random numbers generate, of course, if there would be a pattern behind it. Uh, for example, if we simulate rolling dice, as we did in the law of large numbers video, um, it would show a pattern over time. I mean, we can run that video as well again. So I have the project saved here, law of large numbers. So uncommon that I mean, this is head tails. Okay, so I don't have to dice anymore. But if we if we run that script, you can see that it does basically the same thing. So we simulate coin flips. And you can see that the longer we go, the more 50-50 uh, it's going to be because of the law of large numbers. And again, we can do something like x and then we can say, if x uh, modulo 50 equals zero, then we're going to do that. So it happens faster. Then we can see it goes towards 5050 pretty quickly. Kind of. So um, that is basically it. This is how you do uh, animations with matplotlib and Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.